Welcome to this demonstration of Spend Analytics with SnapLogic and SAP. In this demo, we're going to focus on price reduction, compliance, productivity, and working capital by pulling data out of Ariba and putting it into Data Warehouse Cloud where we can create a model that will allow line item workers, management of all levels to be able to monitor how your working capital, your compliance, your price reduction efforts are being adhered to, what kind of productivity you're gaining. So all of this uh, measurement is dependent on data. While SAP provides an incredible platform in, in Data Warehouse Cloud, in visualizations in uh, SAP Analytics, getting the data in is where SnapLogic can assist. So let's begin. First, let's go to the, uh, um, the wonderful model that uh, uh, Tom and Eric have built. And here it is. So as you can see, uh, I've got uh, four or five places here where I'm looking at total spend, compliance, working capital, productivity. All of this, of course, is dependent on data, which I presented, I, I provided uh, through SnapLogic pipelines, which I'll show in a moment. So we have total spend here, spend compliance. And in this case here, we're talking about off-contract and on-contract spend. So you see the bottom line here, over 3.8 million of off-contract, less than uh, a quarter of a million on-contract spend. Whether or not that is normal or not is uh, up to the business. Working capital, everybody wants to know how much money they have to work with. Are we getting the best discount performance uh, of our capital by how we're, we're managing it? Productivity, how many errors do we have to deal with with receipts and invoices and shipments and whatnot? This cuts into our profit margins, our, our, our capabilities. We want to monitor that. And finally, an early warning system in terms of uh, a purchase requisition. Somebody just wrote up a requisition for a big pile of money. Is that in your budget or not? Is that planned for? Uh, um, and so you can use this to, uh, to manage your cash as well. So I want you to take a look at this number here, 82,000 uh, uh, and five current requisitions. I'm going to jump into SnapLogic now. And for those of you that have never seen SnapLogic, we use a visual programming metaphor uh, to connect to, transform, and deliver data a row at a time or a petabyte at a time using these wonderful little objects known as snaps. So you'll see here I've got six snaps on the screen that I've already uh, validated and populated with data. So let's take a look. So I'm looking at the requisition snap here, and SnapLogic is using design time introspection to connect to and acquire the both the data and metadata necessary for me to be able to do my task. So you see here I have a variety of different accounts. And in this case here, I'm using a, a document approval account, so because I'm working with requisitions. And these are the APIs. See, everything is presented to you in a very visual drag and drop environment. So in SnapLogic, you're not writing code, you're defining uh, uh, parameters, you're using uh, string uh, literals or JavaScript expressions to connect, manipulate, and modify the data. So you'll see here, if I want to get a requisition, I have to pass the two pieces of information, a realm and an approvable ID. This is a parameter that I'm passing in, and this is the requirement that I have for the requisition. How do I know? Because I go down here and I take a look, and SnapLogic goes in and interrogates the API and tells me that these are the two uh, required for this. If I contrast that, let's say, to uh, uh, items, items only has this as a, as a document parameter. So you can see here that we have all kinds of, of capabilities, both static values and uh, uh, dynamic values are available. Now to show you the reuse of this platform, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab this snap. And this is the preview of the data. This is what it looks like when it comes out of, uh, of Ariba and into SnapLogic. So I've got sample data that I can work with. I can look at it in a tabular form or in a JSON document. So all of that information is available to me quickly and easily. So I'm going to copy this snap here. And I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to paste it in. And I'm going to connect it to this map requisition. Now, before I can use this, because I moved it from one place to another, I need to, I need to get an account. So I'm going to go in here, and again, I'm working with a requisition, so I need an approval uh, account. My parameters are still valid, so, and my name is still valid, so I'm going to go ahead and say save. I'm going to move this off to the side here. You'll see here the gear up here is rotating, indicating that SnapLogic is evaluating what I put in the, in the property sheet or the dialog box, and it is going out and getting some sample data. And let's take a look here. And there is my requisition, as expected. So now, 
Now that I have this requisition, before I can put it into Data Warehouse Cloud, which I'm using the, uh, the SAP HANA Insert Snap to do, obviously I have to have an account on Data Warehouse Cloud, and I'm talking to the spend demo space, uh, uh, and I'm putting it into a table, not surprisingly, called Ariba Requisitions. But before I can take that JSON document that I'm getting from Ariba and putting it into a, a, a SQL table in uh, Ahana, what I have to do is I have to use the mapper to transform the structure into a um, into an array uh, uh, or a flat uh, tabular structure that I can use to put into uh, the uh, uh, the data warehouse cloud table. Now you'd think that this was a, a, a lot of work to do and in, in fact most of this was done by our artificial intelligence uh, um, Iris uh, when I pressed auto link. She resolved the differences between this path and this table to a point. I had to go in and make a few modifications and whatnot but the, and, and the thing is that because it's a deep learning model Every time we do this, she gets smarter and smarter and smarter, and so more and it becomes more and more accurate. So let's go ahead and let's go back to Data Warehouse Cloud. So we've got 82 and 5. So now I'm going to go ahead and run this pipeline. And while it's running, I'm going to open up the log file so we can see what's going on. And you'll see here that SnapLogic is giving me some very detailed information about the fact that it's putting a requisition into Data Warehouse Cloud. It changed color indicating that the, the data is there. So let's go back to Data Warehouse Cloud and refresh. And we can see now uh, it's jumped up to over 100,000. We have six requisitions and PR111, which we put down, is right in here. So that's as easy as it is to get data into and out of uh, um, any application using SnapLogic. So supporting the spend data uh, metrics, uh, getting the data from all systems, uh, uh, Ariba, Concur, Fieldglass, or non-SAP data if you, are, if you are so inclined, using SnapLogic to quickly and easily acquire that data, pr uh, transform that data, and make it available uh, uh, for uh, management, governance, and analysis using Data Warehouse Cloud and SAP Analytics Cloud. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention. For more information, please vi visit us at snaplogic.com, sap.com, or partner-team at snaplogic.com. Thank you for your attention. Have a wonderful day.